In this video, we're going to show you how to use WPL fork boost lube on your bike fork. So the first thing we're going to do is compress the fork to see how much travel it uses while it's still dirty. This is before we use the lube. And as you can see, it's about three and a half centimeters of travel being used before we apply the lube. Um, actually, Derek, if you could stand on the other side of the bike. Try to spread it around with my spreader here. Get your spreader out, boy. Now we're applying the lube. You can use a zip tie to get to the hard to reach places. Zip tie engineering. He's using a zip tie audience. Oh my god. And give her. Next, we are going to compress the fork again with the lube on it. This is going to push the lube down into the stanchions, and you'll see some of the gunk from the inside of the fork begin to surface. This is what we want to see. This means that it's working. Now we're going to spray rubbing alcohol on the fork and rub it off with a shop towel to remove the gunk. We repeated this process of apply lube, compress fork, wipe it off until there was no more residue appearing on the stanchions when we compressed the fork. The next step is to compress the fork again and see how much travel is being used after we cleaned it. We can now compress the fork to about five and a half centimeters. That's an increase of two centimeters just by cleaning it with the lube. So in summary, the WPL Fork Boost Lube really works. You can keep that supple suspension feeling by applying a little of this when your fork gets too dirty.